there is this great little meme of a, a box of kittens and the kittens are trying to get out of the box and there's this person who keeps picking the kittens up and putting them back in the box and then the kittens get out of the box and they keep picking them and I kind of in many ways feel like that is a lot like stage management. My name is Michelle Kay and I'm a stage manager and I'm also an associate professor of stage management at the University of Cincinnati. In undergrad, I wanted to be a lawyer. And as part of that, I had to take a fine arts course. And while I was there, you know, working on stage, um, there was this person working, getting ready for the evening's rehearsal. And I said, who's that? And they said, oh, she's the stage manager. And I was like, I want to do that. I was a really shy kid. And I think I was just starting to come out of a shy shell when I left high school and went into college. And then seeing this woman who was running the rehearsal or preparing for running the rehearsal, I, I just looked at her and thought, man, she really knows what she's doing. And she seems to have a command over this room. And I want that. I wanna, I wanna have that leadership role. I like to help people. And so stage management's all about helping people. It's helping everybody reach a goal, whether that's the actors in the rehearsal or the director for the, the vision of the show, the designers, so that everything looks great on stage for the audience. The stage manager is the person who helps folks and kind of combining that desire to be a leader and helping people, that role presented itself to me and I stepped into it. I didn't realize uh, like that Dr. Seuss book, all the places I would go, um, all the people I would meet. I mean, I've stage managed in Italy and in London and in New York and in Reno, Nevada and Dallas and Chicago and um, all these different places. And I don't think I ever realized that I was going to do that. So if you want to stage manage, if you want to study stage management beyond high school, you have to practice the craft to learn the craft. Stage management is, you know, 20% stuff, 80% people. And so you have to engage with humans, right? Because the more that you can learn how other people interact with each other, I think the better you become as a manager and a leader. Yeah, you gotta practice calling cues. You gotta have those opportunities, but the more that I can practice how I'm going to navigate when two people are disagreeing with each other, um, I think it helps to really study human beings. And I think that looking back at myself, that's one of the things that I realized like, oh, I've always been like that. I always like, I came from a huge family and I was a quiet kid. So I liked sitting and listening to everybody talk and listening to how they interacted. And I think that that's one of the things that makes me a stronger stage manager is my ability to kind of read other people. So I think that as young people are going out and studying stage management and learning how to be stage managers, interact with other people. Don't just go head down into your, uh, you know, like, even just looking at your script when you're calling a show, it's not about what's here, it's about what's going on on stage. It's the, the, the actors and storytellers who are on stage. And if I can learn how they're working together, um, I'm gonna be able to do my job so much, so much better. What I wish I had learned earlier on was probably to relax. Um, stage managers will tend toward perfectionism and um, just trying to make everything right, everything always right, everything always perfect. And sometimes you just have to let that go. That's the thing I tell my students, like, relax, relax, it's okay. Something's messed up, it's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna work around that, we're gonna work through it, we're gonna find a different way. Um, because you just never know, like I said earlier, when something's gonna go wrong, <laughs> when the automation's not gonna work, or when uh, a costume is gonna rip. It helps to just stay calm in those moments and uh, help everybody else kind of work through that. They're all looking to you, how are you gonna react? If you can stay calm, 
other folks will stay calm. An addendum to staying calm is you're working with artists and artists can be very emotional in how they express, right? And people also are not really great at giving criticism. And people will sometimes say things and it'll feel really harsh and it could feel hurtful. One of my tips for student stage managers, for young stage managers, for gosh, anybody, is don't take it personally. People are bad at delivering criticism, but take the note. What, what was it? What was it that the person was saying? What were they reacting to? Is it something that I can make an action on? Or was it something that they were just really frustrated in the moment with something else and you know yelled about something? Um, but it, I don't want to let someone else's energy or negative energy then inform me and then ha broadcast that back out because then I'm not helping the rest of the company, right? Um, and I think that's an important part, part about staying calm is, is you kind of absorb a lot and then you let it go and then you just move on. The kind of fun thing about stage management is there's no one way to do it. And um, I think exposing yourself to learning from as many people as you can is, is beneficial. It helps you grow. You know, it's like there's no one way to do this job. There's so many ways to do it. So finding all these different avenues by talking to different people, um, learning what do you think stage management is? You know, ask your lighting designer, ask your sound designer, your director, what do you need from me? You're gonna get a different answer from different directors. You're gonna get a different answer from different lighting designers. And I think that that's um, a really valuable tool for a young stage manager to, to use to find out like, what is this job? A lot of stage managers, if you reach out to them, are so willing to talk to you. And they are um, a lot of times willing to allow you to come and observe them backstage or in a rehearsal hall. You can contact your local theater, your local regional theater or Broadway touring show um, and ask, hey, can I observe you? And uh, I think you can really learn a lot from talking to a lot of different people. It's so important to remember that, like why you started doing this. Um, why you started doing theater, why you started stage managing. It's because it's fun. It was, it's something you enjoy doing. A colleague of mine once said, it's called a play. We play, we have fun, we explore. That doesn't mean that we're not doing important work. Um, I think we are doing important work. I think theater is important for, you know, sharing cultural experiences, um, exploring deep and scary things sometimes, but also it's for just having a great time and going in and seeing tap dancing and, and people breaking out into song for no reason whatsoever. Um, it's fun, have fun, enjoy that. Enjoy the, the process and the, the people and, and I think that helps us kind of not take it all so seriously.